Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Road to Glory and today we're going to take a look at our account now three weeks in basically and yeah uh, we're gonna see that I might have made a mistake there because I powered up a new Pokemon it's Drapion and I used my Roy Candy for that thing but still not enough for the second charge move so right now I'm playing a Drapion with only Crunch and this sometimes does like a lot of problems and it's really, really not uh, ideal and I don't have enough rack candy right now for the second charge move so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit still. I could start to walk it more or whatever but right now I'm kind of out of time so not really interested too much in that other than that we haven't really had anything else really that got new there I think we have like the aggro now new and the grand bull which are both caught in the wild I catch actually, actually a lot of pokemon also the clefable just randomly in the wild with high cp which is cool just in at my home but other than that we can build a skunk tank which I also kind of want to do this one goes directly to 1500 and we can also build something like the Noctowl we would be able to. We have 100 normal candy there, which should be enough. And I definitely gonna build soon a Vigoroth, as we have like a lot of candy already for this thing. And it's gonna be one of the best Pokemon that you can play in the next cup. I'm gonna take a little break from uh, this account in general after this video most likely. Maybe I do like one, two sets, no, but definitely not every set every um day anymore because um we actually i don't know oh, most likely it's it's dead so i have to revive it real quick uh because we most likely will have hit a barrier with this team soon especially like when you get ranked now where i will not really be able to climb at all so it doesn't really make sense to play uh you here you see my statistics way worse than last season like of course one uh, 15 less battles one more wins uh, yeah one less wins as well no one more win actually never mind like actually i'm less wins and more battles but it's what you can expect because you have better people still in lower ranks right now i'm battling the really really decent player with really good teams and i'm still positive though so i'm happy with that we're gonna go into remix cup i was switching between both cups right now reason being in like my team is so so good against like Swampert and also against something like oh god Swell is for example a problem for my team uh, for example like Azumarill, Azumarill cannot do anything against my team usually but yeah also and, like you have those good matchups but then you have like the matchups against oh god he, did, did he actually try to this doesn't make sense dude why why how did he usually tried would have caught a sludge bomb there so very well played by my opponent so smart of a play i don't know but yeah uh, what i wanted to say is yeah like in the open you have like those steel types which are really a problem for this team of course while we have here not a lot of good matchups for grass type pokemon and i kind of need Grottle in my team right now because it's basically the only thing that really does quick move damage so it's it's kind of a difficult scenario in general right now but i hope i can farm down in time i kind of need the help no i'm actually gonna go into this thing Golbert, and try to farm down here i don't i think i'm not gonna be able to yeah maybe okay i think that was a miss but i think i should have went into my um grotto there but actually if i put him low enough with this thing that I can farm down maybe later on. Most likely goes into Swallows here, I would guess. No. He goes into a top left. He goes into a top left. Yeah, there's nothing. And that's the first Warmer Dam I've ever seen, and Warmer Dam completely destroys my team. Like, there is nothing I can do. You're getting ranked in the first match as the top left, but this is live commentary for you. I'm not gonna fake anything or whatever. It's not possible here. And yeah, usually I don't do that anyway, just saying. But you see here everything uncut. And I think that's also a really cool alternative thing as you have like so many battles where it's just like sped up battles, commentating over that and nothing like live. I think this is kind of cool format. I'm just waiting two turns so my opponent can catch up with me. I'm such a nice guy today. I just felt a little bit generous there. Thanks game for working so well. I'm also lagging a little bit here. I'm back on my old phone again, trying it out a little bit on that. Maybe I should switch back to my main phone. 
but I usually kind of want to separate those accounts anyway, so I don't really want to play two accounts on one phone. Uh, this can be a brave bird, so I'm just gonna shield still. It is a brave bird, that's really good for me because now I should be able to farm all the way down without even having to throw anything whatsoever. And yeah, Diggersby should be, I think he needs to throw a move. So I should be able to go for some poison fangs here. Just debuff and maybe put him like into range. I don't know, like, I don't know what he wants to do here though, actually. I definitely need to keep my Soul Witch advantage because I don't want to have the diggers be against my Drapion. So I'm just gonna try to slowly whittle him down here. He most likely just gonna try to farm up as much energy as he can. But we already put him really low here, like literally. He is super, super low now. He got hit by three Poison Fangs now. This is gonna hurt a lot, actually. And he throws a move, and that's fine for me. He's super low now. He, cannot, he has a Fire Punch loaded already, like I know that for sure. But nothing else he can redo really here. Now, what do you have in the back? He throws immediately. I would think he swaps out immediately here as well. I don't think my opponent is bad as a good player. So I'm just gonna counter swap most likely immediately as well. It is a Gridilly, okay. That's not bad. It's playable. Okay, we can get the crunch through. Cridilly has access to Stone Edge and Grass Knot is the usual move set, so it doesn't really matter. They definitely won't bait me here. It's a high energy move. I'm gonna shield here for now, but I think I might have that game. <laughs> Depending on if the Digger Speed gets to another move though, because I think it might actually get there. Here I'm just gonna try to get a debuff onto my opponent, because this would allow me to have a way better matchup. I didn't want to go for this extra poison sting, that's the phone. Thanks for that. But this would basically allow him to um, not take my hits as a will from my Gradle. Okay. He goes for the Stone Edge now. I've already got one debuff there. I can definitely hit the crunch on him. And Switch Clock is up now. Should I swap out? Should I not swap out? I think I should swap out actually. Follow is my. Or maybe not. I'm actually gonna swap out. He swaps out as well. Same time. If he goes for another move here, I'm gonna be able to hit him again with the body slam, but he's gonna throw immediately. Are we gonna be able to survive this? It's a stone edge, definitely. It's a grass, not easy survive, and we're gonna win this game here at least. With this body slam. Good game there. After the first tough game, we come back here with our Grottle. I'm actually the only person who ever played a Grottle here, I think. I've definitely never encountered one on my opponent's part. I don't think I even encountered a goal, but really goal, but it's also not a common Pokemon. Drapion is a common Pokemon. And there is actually a point I kinda wanted to talk about in general. I had some com comments below my um, latest video about this series that people think that the challenge is too hard. Like in general, not walking, not raiding, not being able to check IVs are too, is too hard. But actually I kinda disagree because what does it take to hit legend? Someone who knows how to play the game, that's like 75% in my opinion of the way to the legend. Here I'm just gonna bait my opponent by the way and go into my Drapion. And the other part is basically just having a good team. And you need one good team, not like 8 or 7 or 28,500 like on my main channel, like on my main channel, my main account, where I play a team, a different team every day, just because it's also more fun for me. Are you kidding me? You know I have Sludge Bomb, don't you? Like, people have literally no fear against Drapion here, I think. But yeah, like, you need one good team, that's all. That's all that you need to hit Legend with an account like this if you know how to play. It's crazy that you didn't shield this thing on time there. Usually they always shield because most people actually know what they're doing. This guy, I guess, like, had no fear whatsoever. I definitely was already at the move twice. It's only six to get to a... Uh, such from there, so very interesting. No shield there from my opponent. Going for the medium mesh, you know. Of course, why would you go against a uh, uh, poison type for the psychic move, which you hopefully have because it's something that every Cliff Hables. It's a triple charm team, isn't it? Oh wow. Yeah, that's a very interesting. I can go for some nice moves here, but like triple charm is kind of tough actually. He let it go, and it's fine for me. Most likely gonna shield the next one. 
Huh. I kinda... Hmm. I don't know how to play this, actually. Okay, yeah, he, he swaps out now, that's fine. It's Granville now, the Shadow One. I don't think he get the extra move through. I'm gonna swap out after this move. I hope he shields this. If he doesn't shield, it's also fine, but I can farm down with my... Um, yeah, okay, he shields this. I can farm down with my Gradle now. He also, he also got the extra move through, which is kind of annoying. I think I'm gonna shield and hope that I can get to him move against the Wicked Tough. This might be a big misplay, depending... Please don't get the debuff. If he gets the debuff, I'm dead. He doesn't. Okay. Should be close to enough to get to your body slam in time, hopefully. Yeah. I think that's it. I hope it's it. I don't think it KOs yet, but I can definitely go for one more Razor Leaf and should KO him. And it doesn't KO exactly, and I can go for one more. I know my count there. It's actually hilarious, like... A lot of people don't know that, but usually I don't use PE poke too often to like count, um, like see how much a charge move does to an opponent or anything like this. Like if you play this game for how long I play it basically, you're gonna be able to know in terms of like how much a quick move does just because you see it all the time and you can calculate from that like barely how much a uh, charge move gonna do anyway. So. Yeah, this is basically how I most of the time know my moves anyway. This is the one of the worst possible leads you can face. I wanna swap out, thanks game. Okay, I don't know how I caught the... This doesn't make sense again, thanks game. I shouldn't have caught the Dragon Tail from him on my Drapion. This wouldn't shouldn't have worked there. You see my Rottle still with a zero um, health loss basically there, which should not happen because I went for one Razor Leaf and then swapped out while he went for the Dragontail. Dragontail should have hit him just before the swap out, but yeah, why would the game work how it is intended to work? Who knows? At least I can get a shield here. Still not in a decent matchup here for me though. But I got the shield and he can farm it down, yeah. He's like at 4-5, I didn't count really. But I should be able to go into my Golbert now. My Golbert is definitely a good boy. And he, th he throws two moves, while I throw two moves, and he throws a charge move. That's no, not how it's supposed to work. Oh, can you teach me the ways? And this is definitely gonna hurt me a lot more than it should be. Cool. Um, this is not how the game is supposed to go, but yeah, this is I guess how it feels like when you play on a really bad phone. It's actually not a bad phone, it's like just one half years old or something. So yeah, I don't know. We see a Steelix and it's a Thunder Fang Steelix and a DGSB. I'm just not gonna ask anymore, okay? What the hell is going on today? Yeah, I'm facing a lot of cool stuff here. Very, very nice. Uh, Fire Punch, I'm just gonna shield it because it's the thing that hurts me the most. The Stigger Speed is not even fully powered up and takes away more damage from a Razor Leaf than I thought. We're definitely gonna get ranked super low if we play against those people right now. I would say, like, if we get ranked at 1800, I would have been fine with that. I think that's something where we should be ranked. But yeah. I'm not gonna play too much after this in general with this account for a while. I'm gonna start again in Holiday Cup if I find a good team there. Can we get to the move? I might have to. Let me try to get to the Energy Ball. Energy Ball, okay, this is now very important. If we didn't get to this move, I think this would have been a loss like this. We can still win this. He's close definitely to a crunch already. So what I'm gonna try try to do I just want to say is to sack but didn't work out because I wanted to go for one more move and then try to swap out but it's fine he's out of energy now goes for a crunch and I think I have to actually go for the shadow ball no I have to try can I put him low enough does he generate energy too fast I think we're gonna lose here it's double it's triple resisted actually maybe I should have tried to get to the shadow ball I know I think my oh no I think it didn't have matter. No, I think it didn't matter there. He survived with one HP in a dream. So we're at 2-2 in the final set there against the Steelix with Thunderfang. Destroys me, sadly. Very, very cool. Help me, though. 
Last battle of this video and also last battle before we have the rating reveal there. We're gonna have Pillow Sex. They're all like already lower than me rated though, which is okay. Polito D, that's beautiful, that's where you want to see it. We're gonna have a very nice swap into a Jirachi, which is actually kind of problematic for me. But we can go for a crunch. I have to shield everything here as well from the Jirachi though. But at least we have this thing now locked onto the Drapion, which is a very important for me. And we got an extra move there. Jirachi's counts are for uh, 16 turns and then 12 turns. And I think it's always like uh, then 16 again, then 12. So we should be able to see Peter exactly here. Okay, maybe you won't see Peter though. I could have thought about this before as well, but I think we also lacked a turn, so that's all good. Doom Desire. Would hurt a lot. Okay, we're actually CMP tied, but I guess GRG wins CMP. Can be the case. I don't know the exact attack value of either of them. But we have to throw another one anyway. My opponent gets definitely some extra free turns there. Beautiful. Ah, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Please don't shield, that would be nice. Thanks for shielding, of course. You shouldn't have been at the move yet, should have you? I don't think you should have should have been at the move yet. But maybe it's 4-3-3, three, three, who knows. Definitely does KO me here. Jirachi gonna win back switch advantage, which is kinda huge. If he has another counter two grass taps in the back, which I would expect with the lead there, we're gonna be screwed. It is kinda and it's kinda not. He swaps out now. Do you have Blizzard? I think I might be still fine. If I can get to the Grass Knot before my opponent can get to a move, I should be in our case spot, or if I can get to the Shadow Ball here in time. Both of them are versions where I should be able to win this match. I am not going to be able to go for the Shadow Ball in time. This is a Blizzard though. It is. Okay, this is fine though. I should be able to farm down here. And I should be able to get to the energy ball against the other thing that's on your weather ball. I think we win. But I'm not sure yet. Not 100% sure yet. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We are in a decent health spot there. We have to go for the energy ball at this point. Okay. And... Okay. No, he doesn't... He's not going to be able to sneak in the move. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I don't know if he can get to a charge move somehow. We have to see here. It is gonna be enough and we're gonna win and we're gonna go positive in the final set before the writing reveal, which is nice. We can get three encounters real quick to stall the video time and people gonna skip forward anyway. So feel free to skip forward. No stage, it's better for the YouTube algorithm in general. So the video gets recommended more often. Also leave a like if you enjoy the series still. It's also the same. I don't need any of those. So I'm just gonna catch them. I guess I can catch you with a pineup. I don't need a uh, Lavita anyway, like you will never use it in any cup coming up. And this thing is a little bit annoying, roughly, to catch, and you will never use you anyway, so I'm just gonna catch you like this. Or not. Or we just gonna store more, more for content, just in general, to get the time of this video a bit higher. We're gonna be able to join rank 20 at 2013 ELO. So we're basically already ace. If we have a normal set next time, we're gonna be ace with the account immediately, which I think is hilarious because I know a lot of people like struggle, which is not hilarious, but it's hilarious that I beat so many people with a brand new account with completely garbage Pokemon where I don't even know the IVs. <laughs> that's kind of hilarious to me, but I think that's a cool part of the series in general. So thanks all for watching in general there. Like I really enjoy doing this series right now. It's a lot of fun. It's I think it's a really cool balance between like all of those cool meta teams and the new Pokemon I showcase on my main account. And then having the struggle that basically a new player would have on this account. It's just really nice. And also we have like those 20 minute videos, which you usually don't have, but here, all in all, thanks all for watching. See you in the next episode in the Holiday Cup then. And we're gonna have a new team. We're gonna have a lot of new Pokemon which we're gonna build. So stay tuned for that and see ya.